There's a lot going on at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science tomorrow, including their summer family fun night. The best of all part of this is it costs just a dollar to get in. Here now with more on this is uh, Randall Gant from the museum. Randall, good to see you, buddy. Good morning. How are you? All right, I'm doing well, thanks. And you? I'm doing great. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You have a dollar family fun night. There's a lot of stuff going on and whatnot here. There is a ton of stuff going on at Fat Dollar Family Fun Night. Dollar to get in, dollar planetarium shows, dollar hot dogs, dollar wow. uh, candy floss, I believe they candy call Candy floss? Cotton candy. That right? sounds like it's uh, uh, like a redundant thing. Or uh, not that redundant. It sounds like an oxymoron. How can you uh, eat candy and floss at the same time? Wouldn't it be great if you could? You could yeah. kill two birds with one stone. So okay. Just... All right. That would be bad. That'd be bad. <laughs> not, they, yeah, stone. you have a lot of animals not? there. Yeah. yeah. Um, we also okay. have there'll be live music there from a band called G's Louise. We're going to have it out front uh, where Spike and Alberta are sitting. Uh, we'll have curators out. Uh, the Lapidary Studio folks will be there. Tons of things happening. It's all a dollar. Planetarium shows are a dollar. And That's we have it. Another exciting thing going on there uh, at, at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. We have the Torreon that has the fresco, the 4,000 foot fresco. And the artist that painted that took him over 10 years is okay. going to be there. No kidding. We have that digitized. We're going to show it on the full dome of the planetarium at two awesome. of the shows. And he's going to explain it, how he did okay. it, what it's behind it. So All right. a super fun night. Okay. And how much is it one more time? I believe it's a dollar. You believe it's a dollar. Yeah, that is good a, stuff. A buck. Uh, a buck. Okay. So a lot of good stuff. Of course, what kids are really interested in these days. Oh, my goodness. This is heavy. Um, dinosaur bones. Fossils. You know, we've had a lot found. We always have a lot found, but a lot have been making the news here in New Mexico. This one, um, tell me about this. You brought one here with you that kids will be able to see. Yep. What is this, Randall? Well, one of the things that we do at these kinds of nice family summer science nights and all the PET events is we have our people from behind the scenes bring out things that people don't really normally don't get to see. They're not on display. Really? They're in the collections, and that's what this is. This is a fossil wow. from a T-Rex. This, this specimen I'm is... I'm holding a Tyrannosaurus. Yep. This is the eye, so this would be the right occipital. You can see how big his eye would have been. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me, so this part here is what the eye sat yep. in? That would be the, like, the bottom of the, the eye. That's the bone. Yep. This dude's eye is bigger than my fist. Yep. And that is 66 million years old. It was found at Elephant Butte, about three miles away from the stegomastodon that we dug up a couple of weeks okay. ago. Okay. And it's a lot older than the stegomastodon, right? Because they think that was, what, just three or four million years yep. old? Just yep. three or four. I mean, it's technically a newborn. Yeah. Um, and this, so this literally would like sit like right here. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. That, that really gives you a testament to the size of these things. It's huge, right? You know, Look at the, uh, the size of that eye. Is yeah, I mean, they, they say big eyes to see you with, really big teeth to eat you. Yeah, isn't, yeah. That, not the, isn't that from a nursery rhyme or something? I don't know that nursery rhyme. That is one. that like a Red Riding Hood? that one up? Something like that, yeah. All right, so this is actually here. You know what? You put this back because right. I know part of it is a little. Yeah, yeah. I just have to be just a little uh, yeah. bit careful. With I, it. I don't want to be involved. You don't want to break something 66 <laughs> million years old now. You know, I can't just go down to Walmart and pick up another one of those. No. No, you cannot. Um, okay, so we got that. Again, people are, are, do kids, like, when they go to the museum, are they allowed to touch some of this stuff, too? When we bring things out like this with the people from the collection, with our collections manager yeah. and our, our fossil works preparator, Preparator, that's yeah. a tough word to say. It is. Uh, they come out, they will, kids will be able to handle some of these fossils. We'll show them to wow. them, let them touch them, look at that's them, talk really to them. So that's the whole idea is to get kids interested in science. And yeah. so that's what this whole night is about. That's mm -hmm. why it's cheap. We're bringing in families from Española, okay. uh, bussing them in because okay. to work on our statewide, statewide outreach and whatnot. It's, a, it's one of those days where the words are not coming out. Yeah, right. it's, it's all right. It's, it's Monday morning, Randall. It come Monday on, morning. it's Monday morning for all of us. So again, tomorrow night at the shows, or at, at the shows. See what you do to me, man. You mess me up. It's all your fault. We can Tomorrow, call it the shows. At There'll the, be a the, lot the going New on. Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. Look at this. This is just the, the whole the whole segment's going downhill and whatnot. Randall, go to casa.com. <laughs> click on the blog. You'll find out more. Randall, thanks for coming in. Thanks, thanks for bringing this thing. 66 million years old. I promise I'm not going to drop it.